Woods, going on everyone, Juice Bags here, and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. First and foremost, a Merry Christmas Eve to everyone out there. Christmas is right around the corner now, and as has been tradition over the last several weeks anyway, we are doing another Sunday chill build. Uh, this time we're farming up some reroll tokens on the Wild West, and basically wanted to play around with something a little different, but also wanted to make sure I had Siege Rollers and Dragon Lords automated. Now, with that in mind, we did go and set up right at the boss lane spawns two drag or gargoyles on each lane. Now, of course, we got cyborgs here, so we did throw automation in with mass destruction and napalm gargoyles on uh, those with defense rate, anti melee, and anti chaos. Now, if you wanted 100% foolproof the lane, you would go with a Tenacity mod and then throw in a uh, um, Defense Rate Shard to overcap the rate as well. Uh, however, I didn't feel like it was really needed since the Frost Orcs are coming out right at the beginning of the lanes and they're long gone by the time any bosses get there. So we did that at all of the boss lanes. We got two set up right here. Uh, of course, going with a uh, Destructive Pylon uh, that also has a Range Pylon on it. A boost aura and a buff beam with diffusion. That way we get those uh, gargoyles all jacked up on their range there. And then we're bringing in the snakes. Oh yeah, some snakes for the win. Snakes are really good. I'm surprised they don't get used more uh, than they do. But super powerful. Anti-melee, anti-chaos, and defense rate. We're going with ramping beam and the glorious double stack here. With destruction and mass destruction. Now, I am just sick as a dog here. I've had a rough, rough weekend, and uh, I'm still recovering. But I did want to get a video recorded. I was hoping to get a quick run with some uh, Siege Rollers and Dragon Lords. This is my third run of this map, and I haven't seen a single Siege Roller or Dragon Lord yet. So I guess that's just kind of how it goes. But uh, anyway, let's uh, just go ahead and fire it up and let it run here. And the objective here on this one is, of course, to chill. So with that in mind, I'm just going to park right here. Uh, if you wanted to play optimally uh, with this exact build, then you would probably just jump on and get a little tower boosting action in. And uh, everything will just get melted. So a uh, little tower boosting for the win. Now, nothing has actually made it to a wall yet. I'm assuming this Orc Warlord will uh, for wave five. But yeah, nothing has actually made it to a wall yet at all. So I'm, I'm curious to see... What's going to happen there? It looks like my Orc Warlord is right... Uh, or no, that wasn't it. There he is right there. See, the Orc Warlord had to pop his buff way, way back. So he's going to get melted. Oh, yeah. Just wrecked as soon as his buff is done. Definitely a smooth sailing run. Uh, the Ogres get wrecked. I mean, most of the bosses get wrecked from the Gargoyles. Uh, they're there particularly for the Dragon Lord and the Siege Rollers, of course, as the snakes will just mow the bosses down afterwards. And I'm not sure how this one's going to work for the map bosses, but we're going to try to AFK it, or try to just get through with just tower boosting it. I'm not sure how well that's going to work out, but we will try it out here. See another chieftain coming down. The snakes just hit really, really hard. Now, the downside of the snakes, of course, is more than one beam can't hit one enemy at a time. So, like, in this situation, we got three snakes or nine beams, because three from each snake. So, if there's less than nine targets, then that means there's a beam that's not doing anything. So, that's the downside of using snakes. However, the upside is you get the super cool laser light show, which is awesome. And they hit like an absolute truck, so... Good, good stuff here. I think the the what could improve on this build is definitely some reflect beams. And I haven't had any issues on the runs I've been taking here fishing for siege rollers. But, you know, reflect beams would just be a smart thing. Without a doubt. See, here come our bossery. We got Tuscar, we got Gribs. Tuscar got... Or no, Tuscar's still coming. Gribs made it past the Gargoyles, but he's going to have to pass them again. Plus, going to have to deal with the Snakes. It's still not going to be an issue. 
The other downside about this is you're adding an incredible amount of crowd control to the map, which means this is already a super slow running map. And you're taking that up a notch and making it run even slower. So that would definitely be the downside of uh, doing a build like this as well. Now, if you're wanting to just chillax it out and go AFK mode, then, of course, the time that the map is running is usually not a factor for you. Let's see. And now we're up to the boss wave. Um, looks like I failed to spend any of my DU the last few waves or any of my mana. Let's get our snakes fully jacked. I am curious on those gargoyles. Exactly how much damage done they have. Let me take a quick peek here. See, this one is 6.3 billion. 6.5 billion. Let's see what we got down on this end. Uh, 3.9. Not as many enemies here on this lane. And 4.1. And then these guys are 4.7 and 4.5. So it looks like the reason is, is those gargoyles there are hitting the center lane too. That's another interesting thought that I thought about for this one. I was a little hesitant to do it. But, you know, a three gargoyle stack with this setup is 250 DU. Well, with that in mind on this map, you could do five of them. So what if you put it right here on the rail, then another one right here on this rail. And then, you know, the same thing over there. Uh, one right as the side lanes come out on the rail and on the rail and then that would leave one more set up for up here I'm very curious if that would handle the map. I'm not sure if it would um, Yeah, gonna have to try that one out, but anyway, let's give it a whirl here for the boss lane or the boss wave and I, like I said, I'm gonna try to AFK this one out or I will uh, I'm not confident on this one. So let me let me just boost it I'll boost these guys down here. Um, the monk you see has got... Oh, the monk is down. These guys are boss killers, y'all. They are just boss killers. They do absolutely shred. That monk got burned super quick. The apprentice is down super, super quick. The Huntress is still a little out of range of him. And then what about the Squire? Did the Squire die? I think the Squire died already. Wow. So yeah, okay. Not too shabby from them snakes. That is for damn sure. I'm sorry for a little shorter video here today. Like I said, I am just not feeling well. Uh, I've got some stomach virus or flu issues going on. It's... uh. Serious lack of fun here, but I did want to get another Sunday chill build out to you all and say Merry Christmas Eve. But anyway, that will do it for now. Thanks an absolute ton for watching, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.